Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. I'm Rodesta Brandon. I'm chairman of music, theater, and dance over at Miami-Dade College, Kendall Campus. Today, I'm joined by two distinguished faculty members, uh, Matthew Benelli from the Kendall Campus, and also from the Kendall Campus, uh, Dr. Ed Kaye. Today, we're going to be discussing with you our Jazz Under the Stars event, our signature event. This is our eighth event of this kind, and we've been doing this and having a great time bringing great entertainment and jazz music to the community. Today, we're looking forward to bringing uh, Ed, uh, Eddie Palmieri, Eddie Palmieri, make, make sure I say it correctly, um, and on November the 1st, and we will be um, having Dr. Ed Kaig conduct the jazz uh, ensemble. So Dr. K, why don't you talk about your, your, uh, your part in the role that we, your role in what we're doing this year. Well, it's, it's always fun. I've been a part of the festival since its inception and it's, it's always wonderful. And what's nice about it for us this year is that we're uh, getting a chance to work um, mixed students with faculty and a couple of alums and, and a couple of guests. And so we're gonna provide some entertainment in, in advance of Eddie's set. Um, and give us a chance to, to really study and, and celebrate some great Afro-Cuban jazz music uh, and give, give the community a chance to see our students in action. And, and there's learning going on while they're, they're seeing it. So it's, it's very exciting for, for us. It's always fun for us as faculty members and for those, for, for those of us who, who are involved in teaching to see the next generations of, of musicians coming up. So it's I'm very honored to be there, and it's always a lot of fun, and it's great to see the, the community. I know they... Well, what's they, beautiful about this festival, Dr. K, uh, Ed, uh, you've been with us since the very beginning. This is our eighth event. You started out uh, with a big band, yeah. um, with a lot of stars coming in and out. Uh, what, has been your, what has been your highlight um, after all these years? I, I think seeing it grow. I think seeing so, so many people, you know, we, we get um, somewhere around five, 6,000 people in the audience, and, and um, we've had everybody from Dave Valentin and Nestor Torres to Arturo Sandoval, and uh, Kachau has been with us on occasions. And, and you know, it, it really has, it has given us an opportunity to, to share this legacy that, that all these great artists have um, given the world with our community in that setting, and it's a beautiful setting out there on the campus. So for me, they're all special. They're, uh, it, they're great memories, and uh, it reminds you that time flies, mm -hmm. and it also reminds you of, of the beauty of music and the power it has to, to unite our community and to, and to really ha help people rejoice in the wonderful things that are part of our community and our heritage and our culture, and, and both in American jazz and Latin American jazz or Afro-Cuban jazz. Uh, Professor Benelli, uh, you you head up jazz at the department, uh, at the college. What is what has this meant to you uh, as a as a professor and your students uh, being involved in this well, event? It's always been a huge boost to the program because the students get to hear world class music right there on campus. And uh, the last several years, each of the artists, uh, Pancho Sanchez and Arturo O'Farrell, and this year Eddie's band will do workshops for the students. So it's, it's, it's just wonderful to see them get exposed to that. I think Ed will agree with me, when we were younger and in school, it was always uh, you know like a candy stick when somebody that was well known would come to school and talk to us one-on-one -on -one and, and mentor us sort of just for the day or two. It's a, a lifelong memory. So that has been very helpful for the program and the, the ensembles we have at the college. So more specifically, how, your students, how, how will they be involved? Well, we have a handful of students uh, that will be, in, as Ed said, in the band that we're putting together uh, with some faculty and a few alumni and some guests that Ed's bringing in. Uh, and they'll be uh, kind of mixed in the band with the rest of us. Uh, so they'll get to rehearse and they'll have to arise to the occasion at the rehearsals and, and practice the music, which we'll get to them, and be on stage and step up to a professional standard. We did that last year with Arturo's band and the, all our student musicians did a great job. We've got nothing but compliments from uh, Arturo O'Farrell. Great. So being able to have college age students performing with professionals, uh, that requires a lot of, lot of 
uh, support from your faculty. And Absolutely. So talk about some of the preparations that goes in the, into, um, into getting these students ready for something like this. Well, uh, every week and daily, the students are involved in ensembles, which gives them, hopefully, uh, a, an experience to base off of where they have to read and learn to improvise and, and articulate and phrase. And most of the music I use, like in my jazz band and our Latin jazz ensemble, is not uh, written down to uh, a lower level. It's the professional, the, the original charts that they can listen to the Count Basie band play or Eddie's band play or whoever. Um, so that experience, along with the great uh, faculty we have at the college that teach them in their private applied instrument lessons, they can work on the music there, and they're all, you know, class, uh, state-of-the-art musicians in their self. We have uh, three different jazz guitar teachers, Tom Lippincott, Sandy Polterak, Mitch Farber. Ed teaches saxophone. David Fernandez teaches saxophone, and Tom McCormick teaches saxophone. We have several drum teachers, Jack Ciano and Dan McGovern. Um, I teach bass. My best fr bass friend in the world, Rafael Valencia, runs our salsa ensemble, and he also teaches private lessons. Um, Silvano Monasterios teaches jazz piano. So there's a wealth of resource right there in the building every day for the students, and that helps. Sounds like a beautiful fit for your department. Yes. So, Ed Kaye, you're getting ready to conduct a 16-member a, a jazz band. Is it, I guess, about 16 yeah, members? Yeah, probably be a little bigger than that when we're done with the percussion and, you know. Oh, yeah, so yeah about we, 30. We, we like, yes, yes. <laughs> we like to add a lot of things that go boom and bang. <laughs> but it's so part of So talk about ours. the program. So what are you going to uh, play? Well, uh, we're, we're going to play music, as Matt really said. We're going to play some music that is uh, not only world-class level, but some things that are well-known. We're going to... Um, play a, a version of uh, the theme from I Love Lucy, which was recorded by um, an all-star band, including Poncho, who has been at the mm -hmm. Poncho Sanchez, Chick Corea, Arturo Sandoval. Uh, all of us uh, did a record called uh, Jam Miami. And um, we're, we're going to play that version, and that's a, it's quite a challenging version, but I think the, the kids are going to get a chance to, to enjoy that and to sort of, you know, it was really one of the first uh, uh, salvos of what Latin American culture was for America. Uh, looking at, at Ricky and, and the Ricky Ricardo and, yeah. and, you know, looking at Desi. So that's exciting. We're going to play um, a tribute to, to Dave Valentine, who has been with us before, uh, play some music from Wayne Shorter, and we're going to mix it up with some music, uh, maybe some music from Celia Cruz, and uh, I know we're going to feature a, a little bit of dance from your that's department. Right. So we have, we, have, we have a wonderful dance department. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. And, it, and it's, it's really, you know, the arts and, and all of ours, whether it's visual arts or dance or music, theater, they're, they're all really one and the same. We're all creative people and they work very well together. They fit well together. So that is going to provide the audience maybe a little more well-rounded kind of picture of everything. And uh, it's going to provide students an opportunity to do the kinds of things that they're going to have to do on Broadway, they're going to have to do on television, that they're going to have to do in the recording studios and in nightclubs and, and the kinds of places where musicians and creative people function. So it's, it's really about it's learning. It's applied education. Absolutely. It's always about that. It's always about applied education. And I think for any of us who are professional musicians, we know that you never really stop learning. And so it's right. great to be able to, to hand that off to the students. And they have to do it in front of an audience, which is always fun. So we have, um, we have the, the music. We have uh, the student aspect. Uh, you want to talk about some of the students we're going to add? Uh, Matthew or Ed, you, you have any ideas how we're going to... Uh, which ones and how, how are we going to use them? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we have a few in mind. I believe Joe Paz is going to play sax in the yeah. sax section. He's one of Ed's students. He plays in my jazz band. Great student, really nice guy, very talented, lots of energy, loves music. Um, I think that the important thing about Joe, and, and this is one of the things that we do at Miami-Dade, is that I've known Joe since he was in middle school because we spend a lot of time um, traveling to the to the schools and and helping out and and really trying to give kids uh, a head a heads up way in advance of them coming to college. So I've known Joe since he was a little boy, <laughs> and he's not a little boy anymore when it comes to playing the saxophone. He's really a wonderful musician. Between the uh, two of you all, you must have there must be fifty years between you all in, in, in your teaching. You must have helped. You too. <laughs> Oh, that makes it a, a 60 years, <laughs> uh, 90 years perhaps. Yeah, right. But 
you must have had some high quality students that are out in the business now. A, a lot. Can, can you talk about that? Well, let's go one at a time. Matt, want to talk about some of your students that are uh, doing well? Yeah, well, specifically some of the people from Miami-Dade, uh, probably the two most recognizable here in the community are the two Orta brothers, Michael Orta and Nikki Orta, who are wonderful musicians and great friends. Michael's a, a jazz pianist who now runs, uh, co-runs the jazz department over at FIU. Great pianist. Uh, Nikki Orta is an amazing uh, jazz bass player. He's also teaching over at UM now and plays around town and they travel pretty much, the, I'll say the country, but still probably some the world performing with different people. Um, there's another uh, player in town who's a Miami-Dade alum who's going to play on the concert, we hope. Carlos Magno Araya is going to play drum set with us. He was uh, a student back in the early 80s, I believe. Um, and now he's in town, he has his own home studio and he's recording people's albums in his studio at his house and he's become a producer as well as a great jazz drummer and he's in demand across town. Um, but we have other students, uh, Diego Skisi was a student in the 80s that's uh, uh, living back in uh, Buenos Aires and he's working in TV and film and composing and arranging. Um, I've had other students from other parts of my career teaching other schools and just around town uh, uh, that play uh, with the Brian Wilson and Melissa Etheridge, uh, Matchbox 20. Uh, one of our uh, UM alums that I, I taught for many years is, is touring with uh, Sergio Mendez now. So I'm, uh, it kind of snuck up on me when I look back that all these guys who I taught and worked with, and they always become friends after they're done, as you're working with them actually, sure. uh, are all kind of scattered around the world and they're all in the music business and they're doing very, very well. You must be proud. It's, it's <laughs> I am. Ed, you want to mention a few of yeah, you? Yeah, uh, Carla Vega, who's a great songwriter, singer-songwriter, opened for Shakira recently and has a bunch of songs that are now recorded by people. We have a, a lady, Daisy Almiral, uh, Daisy Celia is, is her professional uh, business name, but she came to Miami-Dade as an adult, as a grandmother, <laughs> and uh, a very good songwriter, excellent piano player, and her, her dream was always to do that, and she had given all that up to be a wife and a, and a mom and a grandma and all that, and, and now she has music that's been recorded by Albita. She's, I think, made three solo albums now, um, I'm very proud of her, and I think she's very representative of what we do at the school. We have uh, Jorge Montañez, who's a tremendous drummer and is now recording a lot with a lot of bands in Colombia and touring, playing a lot. Um, Roger Romana and Cesare Turner and Brian Cazada and uh, um, Alejandro mm -hmm. Navarro, a bunch of the kids who have come up through the uh, commercial music ensemble over time are now playing on a lot of records, including... Um, my new album, which will be out uh, early in, in 2015, uh, a lot of former MDC students are on that record, along with people like Arturo Sandoval and, and people who have won 10, 12 Grammy Awards. So um, it isn't just about teaching them, but it's also about being able to hire them. And uh, these relationships, professional relationships, last a long time after that. Albert Bade, who is now our, uh, you know, a, a commercial, the orchestra, the film scoring orchestra conductor, is a former student, is a former drummer of the commercial music ensemble and doing a great job um, creating a film scoring orchestra, which is really wonderful over at Miami-Dade that right. is in your department. Absolutely. And, and so we have, it, yeah, we're very proud of our kids. I have, there's, a, there's a young man at, at the North Campus, his name is Troy Murray, and he just produced tracks for the Baja Man, and he's got a track that he, he wrote and composed that's on the record for the World Cup. One of the most talented young people I have ever worked with. And right now he's in the process of, of doing some work with uh, some of the real, real heavyweights in the city. And uh, kids like this mean a lot to us because that's what it's about. We're supposed to help them become the next generation of that stuff. And, and um, we're very proud of them. These are hardworking, very humble kids who come from very humble beginnings very often and maybe didn't get a great education at the start because their programs didn't have music. Or, right. And uh, these kids are, are wonderful, and I expect great things from people like Joe. Uh, Camilo uh, Perez was going to play alto on the, in the band, just auditioned. He's been one of my students for a year and a half or so, and uh, he just auditioned for the Army Band and got in. Mm. So he's now a, a member of the, uh, of the Army Band. And, 
you know, we're, we're very proud of those so things. So we're very proud of our students. Yeah, absolutely. We're proud of our, our, our Kendall campus and the work that we're doing. Yes. And we're also very proud of uh, Ed Kaye. You just got to tell us about the nomination you just got. Uh, well, along with some uh, of the work. With Professor Steve Roystein and uh, Leslie Cartaya, Philbert Armenteros, and Raimero Lalde, we have a, a band called Palo. And the band made a record a couple years ago, and now we did a live record this year called Palo Live. And that was just nominated for a Latin Grammy Award. So we're, we're very honored to do that. And the, the biggest thing, I, for, for me anyway, especially at my age, you know, I have pictures with Moses that go back. But, <laughs> but uh, and I, the, the neatest thing is that Miami-Dade College can say that two of their professors, you know, we have four professors in our department in the, in the commercial music. Uh, two of them <laughs> were nominated for a Latin Grammy this year. That, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure how many schools can do that. And, yeah. and yeah. so we're thrilled so about the deal. fact that, that we're still able to do it and that our students are getting a chance to work and learn from people who are actually in, in the business doing it. And we're, we're going to have students that are going to do the same thing. We've already had some students that have, have done wonderful things, but um, Daisy, who's got music recorded and, and things of that nature. And we're passing it on to the next generation of people. And that's... The, the power of Miami-Dade College, it's, it's really the benefit that, that and we're, we're here, you're here, I'm here, we're all here right. for them. And we're here for not only our students, but for the whole community, and that's the, that's the beauty of it. And the other thing, in addition to the music, that I think they get is that commitment. Because most of the students, the alums, will come back gladly to talk to the new students. We've yeah. had that going on with our MDC Connects happening. We're going to have uh, Omar, the MD for Pitbull, come in and talk to the students next month. And he's lining up people all the time to come in. And that is another spark, I think, that makes the program successful. And our emphasis on, on not only the, the, the art of making music, but the business of making music. Right, yeah. And the business of the technical part, as you can see here with the facility. So we are really training a generation of, of musicians and, and industry leaders who are going to be able to do this stuff from the ground up. Uh, those of us who come from the old generation, we didn't have home recording back then. You know, that wasn't available and we couldn't make videos uh, on the cheap and all that. And now people can do all of this stuff and so students have incredible opportunities in a very changing world, a quickly changing world. Right. And our students, I think, are going to lead that, that change over. And we're, we're happy to be there, to be a part of it. Great. Yeah. Well, November the 1st, 7 o'clock. Eddie, 10-time, Eddie Palmieri, 10-time Grammy winner, uh, National Endowment for the Arts, uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. He's a jazz master. Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, his eight-piece orchestra is one of the renowned orchestras in the, in the music of Afro-Cuban jazz and the sound that it developed. One of the great, great voices in the history of Afro-Cuban jazz or jazz period. Yeah. And... Uh, this is a person that everyone should get a chance to see and no better place to see it than at the Kendall campus. Fantastic. Faculty members, I, I want to thank you all for coming with me here today to talk about Jazz Under, Under the Stars, our eighth annual event. Looking forward to a great show that night. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for, enjoying, for joining us today. Please mark your calendars, 7 o'clock, Saturday, November the 1st. So, Professor, I see you have the, uh, the instrument here today with you. you I never you... leave home without it. Oh, I, absolutely, I, I see. Perhaps we'll, you'll play something for us in a few. Sure. Oh, happy so to. we're going to leave you now. Uh, after the break, we'll have uh, Professor Kaye do some playing for us. Thank you all for, for joining us today. programs for hot jobs. Let Miami Dade College jumpstart your career. We offer bachelor's degrees in film and TV production, nursing, electronics engineering, information systems technology, supervision and management, supply chain management, or choose from 300 other programs to study. You can take classes during the day, evening, weekend, or online. For more info, visit mdc.edu or call 305-237-8888. Get the knowledge and training for today's in-demand jobs. Register now. Miami Dade College.
Cool programs for hot jobs. Let Miami-Dade College jumpstart your career. We offer bachelor's degrees in physician assistant studies, biological sciences, education, and public safety management. Or choose from 300 other programs. With our flexible course schedules, you can take classes during the day, evening, weekend, or online. For more info, visit mdc.edu or call 305-237-8888. Get the knowledge and training for today's in-demand jobs. Register now. Thank you for staying with us. And before we leave tonight, we're having Professor Kai is going to play for us something for us. Professor, what, what are you going to do for us? Well, we're going to play that uh, on November 1st. We're going to play a Wayne Shorter's composition, Footprints, uh, an arrangement that I worked on with uh, Dave Valentine. And so as a tribute to Dave, who's a great friend of ours, and, uh, and to Wayne, uh, I thought maybe we'll play a little a cappella version of, of that. Oh, so, great. A cappella means I play by myself. So uh -huh. imagine the band. <laughs> <laughs> So lucky to have you, <laughs> and I'm so looking forward to, to Saturday, November 1st, where we perform the Jazz Under the Stars. The featured guest that night is the MDC Jazz Band, headed by uh, Professor Kaye and the incomparable Eddie Palmieri. See you all then. Get your tickets. We'll see you then. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>